Norm McDonald, uh, the comedian Norm McDonald is the latest to end up getting trampled by the pitchfork mob. And this was, I mean, this was inevitable. This was going to happen with Norm McDonald because he's known for being irreverent and politically incorrect and all that. And also he's got a Netflix show coming out. So he's been, he, he, he has poked his head up above everybody else and made himself visible. And once you do that, then they're going to come after you and try to beat you back down. That's the way it goes. So, um, so his, his, his appearance on The Tonight Show was canceled a couple nights ago amid outcry over some comments that he made, comments that allegedly minimized sexual assault and racism. Um, and supposedly, these com- I'll read the comments to you in a minute, but his comments were so terrible that they made some producers on The Tonight Show cry. The Jimmy Fallon came into him before he was, before they were about to go on air and said, uh, you know, my producers are in tears. <laughs> now, I can't. These were comments that Norm MacDonald made to The Hollywood Reporter. Um, he was giving an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. I can't imagine reading an interview in The Hollywood Reporter with a comedian and weeping. I can't imagine anything. I mean, literally, I cannot think of a single thing. A a comedian in the Hollywood Reporter could say that would make me weep. I just can't imagine what that would be. Um, but that's what happened. So the, the appearance was canceled, and then um, and then you know there have been a lot of hot takes in the media explaining why Or McDonald's comments were problematic and symptomatic and blah 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 blah. So let me. Uh, I, I think of of everything that he said in the interview. Here are the two segments that have gotten all the attention and are supposedly controversial. I'll read them to you. He says, uh, he says, I'm happy the Me Too movement has slowed down a little bit. It used to be 100 women can't be lying. And then it became one woman can't lie. And that became, I believe all women. And then you're like, what? Like that Chris Hardwick guy, I really thought he got the blunt, the blunt end of the stick there. And then a little bit later on, he says, well, uh, Louis C.K. and Roseanne are the two people I know, and Roseanne was so broken up that I got Louis to call her, even though Ru- Roseanne was very hard on Louis before that. But she was just so broken and just crying constantly. There are very few people that have gone through what they have, losing everything in a day. Of course, people will go, what about the victims? But you know what? The victims didn't have to go through that. Um, okay. Now, let's just let's just say first and foremost here that the outrage is ridiculous because he's not wrong about what he said, is he? Where what's the what what did he say that was wrong? What's he wrong about? And I know that doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter with the with the outrage culture. It doesn't even matter if what you said is true. 